What's going on YouTube? I'm here. Welcome back to more Vampire Walk from doing. Um, if you've seen the previous video, then you know I'm at uh, that number one of my choices. And obviously previously I've made the wrong choice decisions for the game itself. Um, obviously the lady thinks I should not turn him. So obviously the choices are kill, charm, or turn. And she's kind of right. You know, turn a man like that into a vampire. Yeah, probably not not the best choice. I mean, does he even deserve that? Right, immortality. Just knowing the things he wants to do. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've looked online to see what the best choice is, and it does say the best choice to do is charm because it can be seen as good. Yeah, I, mix, I get excluded from the Ascalon Club. If I turn him, I lose 2000 XP. I get, but I get to stay in the Ascalon Club. Which I'm not really bothered about it anyway. But if. I kill him, I'm expelled from the Ascon Club. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What to do? I don't think I want to turn the guy into a vampire because not only am I losing 2000 XP, he's not exactly the best guy to turn into a vampire and give immortality to. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Yeah, so that's... Probably not the best thing to do. Let's see him at the lady's door. See if she's there, I think. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. What do you know about Aloysius Dawson? That man is a tyrant. The embodiment of greed and selfishness. All I despise about this country. Okay, I think that. Thank you. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Well, he just asks. Uh. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson? He used to be a big spender. One day, he sent three houseboys to buy all the beluga in my shop. For his brother's birthday, if I remember correctly. I see. Anything else? Less gastronomic, perhaps? I really can't say. The man is filthy and rich. But you know that, of course. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Women's right to vote is only the best strangers coming to your house. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Women of all countries unite! Where's the other guy? 
the one I saved on the vegan. That's what he says. There he is. Good evening, Mr. Kamu. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson, by any chance? Well, I've never met the man personally, but I invested money in some of his companies when I came to London. A brilliant businessman. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I How'd won't you go lie right? to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Women of all countries unite! I haven't really seen it in a base. I've not seen anyone else really in the series of this place. Other than the main people. I thought I was going to and died. <laughs> I was fighting the boss. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion.
It's locked, all right. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Let's go for a while. I'll just go first and get some XP on the one about it. Don't say. That's the action, mate. It's still my bite, bro. <laughs> Fuck me. What? I thought I killed him. That's kind of... I have to leave him a tiny little bit of health left. I thought I went to use that power to get the other one then. I thought I killed a big guy. Shadow things, okay. Stupid. 
stupid newborn! Gotcha! <laughs> Don't catch loading screens, man. Huh? You gotta hate them, eh? Hmm? Okay, let's go this way, man. Why is he having a service for? I know that guys are trying to use Jonathan in there, so. Blood. Yeah, that's the one that Whoa! I forgot he does have that power. Hit me hard then. Why would you not switch to think like I wanted to, man? I wanted to switch to it, but it didn't let me.
No one can hide from Ascalon! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's bull. I stopped with a wall, and that guy won't move. You shall learn to respect. <laughs> I'm a traitor. Oh shit. Got him. Oh, close. Might have gone the right way. Uh, yeah. This is really the least of the guy's mansion.
It's locked, all right. Oh, they serums. Whoa, where'd she come from? I'm done, I'm gonna die. Don't waste hits like that, man. Fucking stamina. Come on, stamina. Forget it, man, that's one of them done. Before I die, come on. This is just stupid. I'm out, I'm dead. I just dodged that as well. I literally pressed circle, but. It didn't work. Come on. What? Oh, come on! Fucking stamina on this game is a joke. I really do hate the stamina, guys. I really do hate it. It is a joke. I'm going down here to go to that guy's mansion and why are there suddenly people chasing me? of them anyway. Just get forward if you want guys. Oh, she's taking my bloody blood off me again as well, isn't it? I'm back up here. <laughs> okay.
Oh my god, what's it doing now? What the? Right, I'm not. I got one, a pistol. I forgot I had that. Stamina this game is a joke, it really is. Oh, I just got up with it from my thing. Come on, power man, come on. Why oh, die if I can stamina again? Come on, it's a joke. I'm fucking. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm trying to get away from it, man. So I can reload, not fucking keep going to go around it, of course. Reload already. <laughs> no, switch to a fucking thing already. Oh my god, so this is trying to constantly hit him with that. I saw it, don't do anything. I mean, you know, boy. Oh, our stamina's run out, and I almost got slaughtered for it. Now you're dead. What the fuck, man? My, my power's got a high level, it shouldn't be leaving me that vulnerable when I do it, bro. Higher it so I can get to the next level, I guess. Why can't they just use a jump thing and go up there that way instead of doing this way? Why can't you just jump up there? I wanted to go up, not down.
Oh, well, that's not way down. What happens down there? Okay. Oh, but fuck you. Passed the wrong one. Maybe that's what I want. I need I'm supposed to. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. This way. Oh. Yeah. Uh. How many more fights have we got to do? How many more city puzzles like that? Just want to get to the fucking. Oh, someone's locked away in there. You can't win this. I'm more powerful. Oh, for f I'm meant to be more powerful and I'm getting knocked down by some... Disgusting <laughs> no, don't waste time hitting him back. Just switch to a bloody bludgeon. Oh, and now Stamina's going again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Poxy stamps, dumb and nothing. Oh, yeah. All he does is the same, same bloody power. That stupid charge thing. When I'm trying to dodge out away, but I mean, he, I mean, Jonathan is meant to be some powerful fucking vampire. Like, and he's not the ground up by some fucking. Okay. <laughs> I spawn back down here again. Oh my god, I've got a whole way up here. Let me go, you bastard! Hi. You feeble! <laughs> Fucking stammers are nothing when it's going sometimes. <laughs> fucking hit him already, man. You're a fucking side by a you know, most powerful vampire and you're this getting weakened by something as simple as bloody stamina. Look, I can't, my stamp is so low, I can't, like... How long are you gonna keep me locked in here? Stupid newborn! 
Yeah, I can. God, my God, I hate it. He's, he's, he's literally just... Mate, just reload the pistol, man. That's all I want to do is reload the pistol, man. Like, honestly. Is that now? How? Oh, how? Come on, man. Mate, it, it's a go. I bit the kill. Oi, chill, is that? Are you all right, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead, that no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon. Because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Well, I can't do back check up. Okay, I, I, I could have given her something for a headache. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Yeah, 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 I got through it. It's kind of nice because you can, like, you got me like once you get beaten probably like three times, but every time we just kept doing that same power. Like I just wouldn't stop spamming that. It's kind of annoying actually. And yeah, I got through it at least. That's one thing. How much more have I got to bloody go up here for? I right, want this mansion or what? Because I need to have. I just want to get this mansion a bit done. How much more have I got to go through here? Long died in the screens. <laughs> I just love that to go off just to go over here. Good 
evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are? Why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person. Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Our father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With yeah. just one phone call. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? No, I've noticed nothing, Lord. All right. But keep your eyes open, though. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right. Without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, 
Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Our father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. What are you investigating oh. exactly? I have a missing oh. woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Our father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not a such an investigation. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. For some reason, I went away to me when I... Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are, and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard, and I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous. And you'd better be careful. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Uh, Jonathan Reed. Have it disappeared I'm before. sure we'll talk again soon. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal uh. survey? What are you investigating? Exactly. Oh, I have a missing that. woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll leave for a bit of a down there. You found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. <sighs> Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago. Let's get the one thing while I pressed on the. I um, thought about the sewers, but medical thing. I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Well, I'll just free this, so it's all good. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk about this. Let's have a quick look at what I was trying to do before. Still conducting your nocturnal survey? Personal questions. No. And acquired for them. Goodbye. Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Right. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need any help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have okay. your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. 
waiting for someone to come. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is my twin daughter, Mike. city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? What kind of question is that? What am I supposed to answer exactly? The truth. And I believe you just did it, actually. What the? What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? What kind of question is that? What am I supposed to answer exactly? The truth. And I believe you just did it, actually. Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Yeah, definitely twins. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Bit too weird. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature, scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. 
But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? But he's still well, making me scratch my I head because he's still weird. This cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. Goodbye, Mr. Bacon. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Goodbye for now, Mr. Bacon. Hey, we still ought to something. for right now. We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are alive. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. Where would we go? Okay, these two are weird. What's that guy down there? What's that glitch door is he meant to be down there? Again, Dr. Reed. What are you really afraid of, Agamemnon? The problem is, 
it's precisely what I don't know that frightens me. So I suppose I can't really answer your question. Tell me, how long have you been waiting here? I can't say for sure, since I have no watch. But the night is still young, and I am not tired. Is that the most honest answer you can give me? Yes, I think so. Why does it irritate you, sir? Is comprehension really that important to you? I'm a scientist. I try my best to understand things. I know the world has to obey unbreakable rules. You know, or you want the world to obey such rules. I know one thing. I do not understand who you are. And it's better that way. What kind of life would we live if we could summarize a person in a few words or a few lines? If you finally manage to leave London, where do you intend to go? A happy place, that's for sure. A place where I can smile because I know the next day will be better than the previous one. Such a place doesn't exist. There are never any guarantees that tomorrow will be a better day. That would mean I have no hope left. And I just can't accept such a conclusion. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Okay. Good can't evening, Mr. Baker. Bingo. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? Tell me more about your strange feelings towards the city. I would be happy to describe them, but it's too hard to explain with mere words what I'm feeling. It's unclear, too confused. Go on, please. Where should I start? The world is chaos. Men go mad and nature itself runs roughshod over us all. This is not the first time mankind has faced a deadly epidemic or a war. Men kill each other while nature decides to kill them all. I don't know what scares me the most. Do you? Both can be disastrous. And a combination of the two nearly increases their potency. And what if they were just a sign of worse disasters to come? Something of biblical proportions, I wonder. Pericles, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? And where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling. To be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. How long have you been waiting for this man? Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps it is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you. Waiting here all night. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. Mr. Baker, I have met many strange people during my life. But you are definitely one of the strangest. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? i leave. What's the way to... Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? Goodbye, Mr. Bacon. I used to Hello wait. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Okay. Oh, I'll have to try to forget about that. Down to him. It's locked.
It's locked, all right. So many signs to interpret. Jonathan Reed, at last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. Oh. My okay. name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they can tell me everything. They told me that you are a new Ekon who relishes his blood diet. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. Oh, one new hint. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being. So powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stowe. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. That's fine. Here is the money. The Joker. A woman bent to obey and debase herself. A cruel gaze in the dark. A monster laughing at you. Give me a second, I've got to quit on the toilet. Like, I was like, yeah. 
Can you read the cards for me? Put the money on the table then, Jonathan. And open your mind. Perhaps later. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. Cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to me, Doctor. But I can try. All right. Let me hear it. Your heart will bleed back all the blood you drank, but it will not put out the fire your treachery has lit. I would rather not know. Okay, I can't wait. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. I would rather not know. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Mary did not deserve her fate. She had already suffered enough during her life. And yet the pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. Pain will never stop. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then. A strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate, and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Red river, song in the dark, the whispers of okay. sun, so many signs. about
Well, not the hint anyway for the Dawson guy, I think. your nocturnal server? What are you investigating? Oh, exactly. shit, that? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Our father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but... I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Spanish flu is not the only hidden killer around here. Huh. Ask what's in the habits about. Well, she's Dawson. Well. Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Oh, I love him. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war and the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. <laughs> Get in there, mate. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up. Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. <laughs> Man's pulled. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? 
I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now, but she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Okay. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Oh, it's a lot. Uh... Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. Very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy. But I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicut used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this camellia may be. <laughs> Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you ever think about getting married? 
Now you're a woman. Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. my medical attention. Oh, please, sir. Do not waste your time with me. There is nothing to be worried about. Don't be shy. It's my duty to take care of you. Thank you, sir. Much obliged. Goodbye, Carol. I am sorry. I, I, I can't help you, sir. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Do you need my medical attention, Miss Price? Oh yes, I feel so oppressed lately. And tired and feeble too. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're always so considerate. I'm just doing my job. Perhaps. But I have always been grateful for your concern, you know. Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end, for they know no one else will love them as much. May I look at your goods, Ma. Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. I hope you can stay a little longer. It's locked, all right. Good evening, young lady. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Carol. Goodbye, Carol. Okay, I think I spoke to everyone around the area now. I think I actually have. Masha, could you? So we'll open that area. Just so like the gates are open. So I can come up first way whenever I want them.
best stay back, sir. Wanna die too? Cause I will kill you. Stop right now! Fuck me. Why did one guy have to play SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> I was talking about I'm not quite sure I've got all the people in the area. That's all I want to do. Make sure I get everyone. I need as much hints about this guy as, as possible. Come on, hurry up. So there's loading screens on this game. Bloody ridiculous at times, man. I'm back here. Shit, boy. Do you want to die? Fight back. What? I wasn't even trying to fight back in the end. Chase after me and just tried to run away. <laughs> well, I think I've actually asked everyone in the area. It seems like I met everyone. Asked everyone in the area. Don't know where she is because I don't need um. Wasn't a woman I freezing in the sewer? Well, I don't like him. I don't remember what he said. Oh no, that's someone I found in the thing. So who's she then?
Oh, ne, halt da. Zeug. So, I can actually evolve with. Two more handle parts. Bugger. Fasten. Oh, I'm actually gonna uh, um, leave that for now. Don't need to do about it, I don't need that yet. Save that for now. What's this guy's mansion then? Here again. There's a church. Where the hell is this guy's mansion?
what I came out. That's a bit better. Oh my god! It in there, and yeah, I'm an idiot, guys. It just yeah, I'm a complete idiot. But so, guys, before I go in there, actually, I know can't take a hand what time to do now because by the time you see it, it's gonna be too late. But what do you think I should have done? Still, ain't really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but. I know what I probably should do. Doesn't seem like a good idea to turn into a vampire anyway. I mean, no one seems to like him. Lady Ashworth don't, don't think it's a good idea telling him. And yeah, the guy needs me to put his hands because of the bloodline. I wonder if the, the guy's. Look out, just like uh, blood, I think. This one's a path from south, really. Hmm, that's mansion. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains, am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? I'm the others, mate. Oh, so fucking now. Healthy. <laughs> Finally, you're here, Doctor Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. 
death, pestilence around us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. What do you know about the Guard of Prewood? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such advice. a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. I don't want to tell Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. I don't want to turn him, you know. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. Dispose? 
I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. What would I do here guys? <laughs> what would you do in this, even if it's in real life? Would you give a guy like this in mortality? In real life would you give him? In, in real life I definitely would not give him in mortality. And let's face it, the vampire lord sort of thing. And he wants power for himself, so... Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast, my family lost, cursed. I have not escaped death, I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money, lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true... I accept your offer, and I understand. No more fear, I will die a man of dignity, and a man at peace. I think there's any more time Better die, a trophy. And my level's just, that's why, that's why my level's just gone up. It's locked. What's the level of the what, what, what happens? The district will suffer consequences tomorrow, which I don't think there'd be any, to be fair. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, no. Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. 
You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! He's pissed. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Step away, traitor. See ya. Return to your dubious <laughs> friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. I think I made the right decision, actually. I mean, let's face it, given the guy like that, immortality. And if what he has plans to do, pff, fuck no. Even in real life, I don't think anyone would be that stupid. If that was real, like... Yeah, and there's no point killing him, he's gonna die anyway, so... Or just for the sake of drinking, drinking his blood. Man, he doesn't die anyway, so. Do you think, guys? Do you think, do you think I made the right decision? <laughs> Even the uh, woman said, "Don't." Um, what was Bridget? What's she want? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait! Slow down! I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds.
Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Just go for it. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon. For the you can flames see him in love are rising. I mean, that guy was pissed at her. Uh... I didn't turn him. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it for today. Um, it's gonna be quite a while to trek back to the back to the hospital. So, hope you like what the videos that I'm producing. I think I hope you like the series so far. What do you guys think I should have done then? Turn him, charm him, kill him. I pers personally think I've made the right choice. Because to be honest, like I said, would you really give, give a like all that in, in immortality in real life? I certainly wouldn't. And to be fair, the other vampire guy, Redgrave, and he wanted to power for himself. Because he's jealous. And he's not even powerful enough to take on. Take on uh, this, this guy, like, so. It's nowhere near. I don't think any of them vampires are, really. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed the videos, like I said, like and subscribe below, and don't forget the notification bell. Peace out, guys. Take care.